it was so hard to actually travel to Ghana. You needed to be vaccinated in order for you to enter Ghana. welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know my name is Omolade Okayato and I focus on faith travel and reviews but in this video I'll be focusing on travel so today's video is going to be about how to travel to Ghana from the UK but before I get into this video if you haven't subscribed please subscribe please support a sister I would really appreciate it guys now i'm gonna be honest with you guys so ghana to go ghana was not easy i must say out of all the places that i've traveled during the pandemic well only one dubai make sure you check out that vlog it was so hard to actually travel to ghana there were so many things that me and my friends had to do in order to ensure that we met the entry requirements for ghana so firstly i just want to say that in the uk hey they put several African countries on the red list and that was a bit of a scare because when they added Nigeria it was just like oh my gosh are they going to add Ghana and Twitter Instagram was kicking off it was a bit like oh my gosh luckily obviously Ghana didn't hit the red list and eventually they took those African countries off the red list and the next thing Ghana themselves said that you needed to be vaccinated in order for you to enter Ghana so a lot of things was just up in the air and for those traveling to Ghana during December period it was quite a anxious fearful like you know are they gonna make it sort of thing to Ghana okay so guys disclaimer I'm gonna be focusing mainly for those who are traveling from the UK to Ghana so if you are based in another country please definitely check your government website this video is mainly gonna focus from those traveling from the UK to Ghana so first thing is first you will need a visa to enter Ghana so if you're going there for holiday then you will need a tourism visa to enter Ghana which costs about 60 pounds however if you are a Ghanaian citizen and you have a Ghanaian passport then you are able to travel to Ghana freely and also if you hold an EcoS passport then you are also able to travel to Ghana freely as well and if you hold another passport which may allow you to travel to Ghana then definitely check that out as well because you just never know so the next thing that you will need to show is a yellow fever certificate so in order for you to enter Ghana you will need to show that you have a yellow fever certificate of course I can't leave this one out you will need to take a PCR test 72 hours within departure time of your flight. So you will definitely need to take a PCR test proving that it is negative. So once you've taken a PCR test and you receive your certificate, you will need to upload your certificate on this website. So I do definitely advise to follow the instructions on the website, upload the certificate, and then there'll be some extra details that you will need to fill in. Okay, so like I said in the beginning, Ghana has put up a statement that you will need to be vaccinated before you enter Ghana. So of course you will need to show proof of vaccination that you have been vaccinated to double dose in order for you to enter Ghana. So with the UK, with NHS, they provide a travel covid pass that you can show also you can also print it out as well but yeah you can show that as proof that you have been vaccinated and just to make things easier i will definitely advise for you to fill out the health declaration form it just makes things easier when you get to ghana so that you don't have to you know fill it out when you're there but if you can do that you can also fill that out online so i do advise to definitely fill that out online as well it's very important that you book your COVID test beforehand on this website. Cause when you get to Ghana, you will need to take another COVID test when you arrive at the airport. So it costs $150 and um, which is a bit of a shock to some people cause that's quite expensive guys, I'm not gonna lie. It costs $150 and you will need to make sure that you 
book for that in advance and that's paid for already and of course make sure you keep the receipt with you also it's also $50 if you hold an ecos passport or Ghanaian passport is $50 so it's at a discounted price so that's beneficial if you hold those type of passports okay, so I really do advise for you to also have a paper version of everything that I've mentioned so everything I've mentioned make sure you print it out you know it's always best to have a hard copy to be on the safe side and then of course you can also have a digital copy as well you know best of both worlds but it is quite a bit but and it can seem a bit overwhelming because when I first saw it I was like wow this is a bit overwhelming but once you get into it once you have clear instructions on what to do which is what I'm doing in this video then it makes things a lot easier I didn't really have this advice I was literally using the gov.uk website to really help me and support me so everything that I'm mentioning is literally on the gov.uk website so definitely refer to that website now also remember that the travel industry is always changing the rules and regulations are always changing so always check it out all the time because what I'm saying in this video may change in the future so definitely make sure that you check what's going on regularly on the website because you will definitely be safe in that sense so I'm not going to really cover in this video on the things that you need to know when you're leaving Ghana to enter the UK reason is the rules are always changing in the UK like it is changing left right and center I kid you not whilst I was in Ghana it was one rule by the time I arrived back to the UK it was another rule so things are always changing time when I traveled if you were vaccinated you need to had already booked your day two test and if you're not vaccinated then you would have had to book a day two and day eight test so that's when that was the rules when I traveled but now things are a little bit different so just make sure that you definitely check the things that you need to do when you arrive back into the UK so that's just an example I've given I know there's also quarantine requirements as well so just make sure that you check the rules that you need to follow when you arrive back to the UK from Ghana so guys I really hope that this video was helpful I just definitely needed to do a video like this because I really hope it's going to help those who really need to hear this information because it's it's a lot it's a lot traveling in the pandemic it's not easy but guys make sure you support a sister I would really appreciate it don't forget to like don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe until next time